Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2000 guys. The given question is in SQL relations can contain null values. Okay, that's true. And comparison with null value are treated as unknown. Yes, that's also true. Suppose all comparisons with null values are treated as false. Okay, so which of the following pair is not equivalent okay okay so now they are saying any comparison with the null value is treated as a false okay so any comparison with the null okay so this is the final analysis which they give okay so now option a says that x equal to 5 okay and not not x equal to 5 okay so now if you observe here carefully so x equal to 5 and the second part is not not x equal to 5 so if you, if you apply not two times they both will cancel equally right yes so not not x equal to 5 means indirectly it is x equal to 5 okay so this is the first statement okay and the second statement says that x equal to 5 okay and x is greater than 4 and x is less than 6 where x is an integer okay moving on to option c option c says that x is not equal to 5 and okay and they are saying x is equal to 5 sorry not x equal to 5 or is there any printing mistake yeah, it is not x equal to 5. So, indirectly not x equal to 5 means what guys? So, x is not equal to 5. That's only right. So, anything other than 5 value they are saying, right? Yes. And the last option says that none of the above. Okay. So, now if you observe the options in this way, all the options are seems to be same, right? So, option A says that x equal to 5 and x equal to 5. Option B says that... Uh, okay so option b says that x equal to 5 and x is greater than 4 and x is less than 6 and option c says that x is not equal to 5 and x is not equal to 5 option d says nothing right yes so if you observe here carefully so in option a and b we are 100 percent clearly saying that the value of x is a 5 so indirectly the value of x is a 5 means it is not equal to null so means both of them can be true right and the resultant could be true so the same reasoning i can apply for the next one also so here they are x is a 5 and in the other case they are saying x is an integer so 1 2 3 4 5 6 in this way and they are saying x is greater than 4 so basically these values are not possible similarly they are saying x is less than 6 so these values are not possible so at the end here also they are saying x equal to 5 only right yes so here also they are clearly saying that the value of x is a 5 so there is no chance of x being a null and getting the result false so so this is also true okay when it comes to option c in option c they are saying x is not equal to 5 so means other than 5 anything is possible right so can't it be null so if it is a null there is a chance that we could get false right yes so i think that reason will be enough to say that option c is the correct answer right yes so this is a quite easy question the only thing is understanding this question was a bit tough right because everything he gave is a statements and the only hint which he gave is anything with null is any operation with null is false so with that analysis only we have identified that the value of x could be anything so if it could be anything it might be null also got it yes okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question right yes okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you